Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm doing really good. I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Did you see what was in my thumbnail? Christmas bags. Christmas bags. The store that we go to most, they are putting out a whole section of Christmas bags, that type of thing. I have no idea if these are from last Christmas that they're putting out or if they're already getting things in for Christmas. So let me know what you guys are seeing in your stores. It's crazy. When we had gone in probably two weeks ago, I had seen a section that they had cleared off. They did have a few things already hanging. When we went back in just a few days ago, they had that whole thing filled with bags and the tissue paper and all of that kind of thing. So I did pick up a few. I need to dig out my bin that I have that um, has all my Christmas bags and bows and all that stuff and see what I need so I can start stocking up. But I did grab a few, so I'm gonna show you. This was what was in my thumbnail. This is a, a two pack, and these are by the Voila brand. I thought I like these little bags, the two pack bags. These are perfect for smaller items. They're not super big. I'd say they're probably, what are they? Like maybe six by seven, something like that. I don't know if the dimensions are on here. They, they do not have the dimensions on here, but I just thought they were pretty. This one says Merry and Bright, and it kind of has the foil look to it, the red foil. On this side, it has the little, that you can write, you know, write to and from on card. The back is not foiled. And then this one is red with yellow, and it says Merry Little Christmas, and it also has the little gift tag hanging from it. Then they have the red, red ribbon handles, but I just thought they were very simple, pretty, so I picked up these, and they did have other other styles to choose from, but these are the two that I grabbed, the one, one pack that I grabbed for this trip, you know, just to show you guys that it is out there, and I just like the simplicity of them. I think they were very pretty, so I picked up that pack. You know, 50 cents for a gift bag, that's not bad. I also picked up this one just because I thought it was so pretty. It says, the magic of Christmas never ends. That is so true. I'm a Christmas person. I love Christmas. I love all of the, everything surrounding Christmas. People are happier at Christmas time. It's just such a wonderful time of the year and it, it needs to linger. We need to keep that feeling throughout the year and I try to. And this one is a bigger bag. Let me grab these and let me show you. Sorry guys, I didn't think about that. But if you look at the size comparison, these two little bags, they're much smaller. This is bigger. And then I have an even bigger one yet, so I will not throw these on the floor. But I just thought this was so pretty. And I love the, the dark blue. It's almost a navy blue. I can't really tell how that's coming across to you, but it's almost a dark, a dark blue with gray. And it is, you can't see it, but I can feel it. It's kind of, the letters are kind of fuzzy. They're not glitter, but they're kind of raised and fuzzy. And it also has, I don't know if I said that, but it also has the, the little gift tag hanging from it. This one has the navy, navy ribbon handles. But I thought that was so pretty. And this is also by the Voila, Voila brand. So I picked up that one and then I saw this one and thought it was pretty as well. It has the dove on the front with the, it says scripture at it. I don't know where the scripture is, but there apparently is a scripture. Oh, I see it. It is on, on the side. I didn't even show you what the sides look like. And this one says, for there is born to you this day a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and it is Luke 2.11. But that is that is the sides. I love that. I love that. Same on this side, and it is the same scripture on the other side. And then this is actually, is it called perforated? That you can take this bottom off and use this top as the, the little gift card. And it has the white ribbon handles. 
and it there is some glitter on this one but it's not it's not bad at all but I just thought that was so pretty and the back same print no glitter on the back which is typical for Dollar Tree bags usually one side is blinged out and the other side is just plain I really like that and it is the same size as the navy and gray bag and then I got two big bags I thought I just got one but I got two I really like this one it says all is calm all is bright I love this oh there's also a scripture added to this one this is a big bag this is a super big bag it has the manger scene on the front and the scripture is on the side. Oh, I love this. Luke is my favorite book of the Bible. And it says, Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And this is Luke 2, 8, 9. I love that. Absolutely love that. I have loved the book of Luke ever since I was a little girl. My my step-grandmother, we went to their house on Christmas Eve to have smorgasbord and she would have us kids read out of the Bible. And the year that I read, I read from the book of Luke and it has been my favorite ever since. I was probably 10 when I read and I just, I've always loved the book of Luke ever since then. So I didn't even realize that that was in here. I. I love that. So that is this one. And then this one, I mean, who, who made this bag? This is also by Voila, I believe. No, it is not. This is, this is called A Day Spring Company Joyfully Yours. It is a Greenbrier product. I don't know if you can see that. And then this next, big bag this is also joyfully yours a day spring company and there is also a scripture added and this says silent night holy night just beautiful and neither one of these bags is glittered or flocked or whatever you want to call that they're just simple bags this one is nothing on it either but I just thought that was so pretty simple I love the navy and white and the side is that and it says she gave birth to her firstborn a son she wrapped him in clothes in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them and this is Luke 2 7 I absolutely love these and you can see the difference between the small bag if I can get them unhooked the small bag and the large bag there is a massive difference in size if you guys need gift bags bows tissue paper cards whatever it may be go to the Dollar Tree first it's a dollar I just they have amazing beautiful beautiful things for the holidays you know birthdays Mother's Day Father's Day whatever it may be go there first they have amazing amazing beautiful things for a dollar and then I saw these I have no idea how long these have been around they kind of look like spring Mother's Day to me but I think they're absolutely beautiful they're paper plates it's an 18 count paper plates they are by Greenbrier but 18 plates these aren't super huge I, I don't think you would call these a dinner plate and it really all it calls it's paper plate but they're a little bit bigger than the, my hand. So I don't know what exactly you would call these, but the print is so pretty on there. I absolutely love them. And they had these napkins sitting right beside it. And these are called beverage napkins and you get 24 and they're 9.8 inch by 9.7 inch. They match. Does it have the dimensions of the plate? It does. The plates are 8.75 inch in diameter. I just think they're beautiful. I love that. So I'll probably put these aside for next spring. Maybe not. I don't know. They're just pretty. I may use them now. I love them. So when I saw them, I picked them up. I may grab another, another pack of them if they still have them there. 
And then I saw these. I have seen a lot of people hauling a four roll pack of paper towels. I've been on the lookout, I cannot find them, but they had these. This is from Homeline brand, and it is strong and absorbent sized paper towels, decorative print. Oh, and these are the ones that you can kind of customize your size. And it says do two giant rolls equals three regular rolls. Nice hefty size rolls. And it, what does it say? It says compare to the Sparkle brand. So I saw these and I, I actually picked up another pack. I didn't bring them up to show you, but two rolls, 50 cents a piece. You can't beat that. I hope I come across the four roll packs. If you guys found them, you're lucky because I have not. I'm sure if they bring them out, I'm sure they get scooped up that quick. But I was pretty happy with finding the two roll pack. They, and they seem very, very sturdy too, just feeling the packs of them. I found another fox. I just think he is so cute. And <clears throat> sorry guys, one of you had suggested I try to find another one and turn it into a girl, like maybe put little lashes on her. So that is what I'm going to do. And I'm not sure where these are gonna sit, but they may go back here somewhere and sit somewhere where my grand ladies had decorated for me. They may go back there and sit. And I actually brought the second one up too. I just think they're adorably cute. I hope that they come out with different woodland creatures. I think they're just cute. The detail is amazing on these. Just look how pretty they are. I love them. So I would love to see maybe a squirrel and a, a I don't even know what, a porcupine or whatever it may be, a, a bunny, just something in this same theme, I think would be great. So Dollar Tree, if you're listening, which I know you're not, but if you are, come out with other critters, please. I love them. And in that same area, I've been on the lookout for these and I didn't think I would ever find them. I found the glass, um, just decor, I guess you would call it. These are the pine cones. I found it in both the silver and the gold, so I got one of each. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. I, I have no idea. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them this color or if I am going to spray paint them. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. But these are a nice size. Let me see if I can do this to show you. These are a nice size and I like how, the, how they sit. They don't, you know, they actually sit kind of upward. The flat part is makes them kind of angled. I like that a lot. And be careful when you're looking, especially with the gold. I don't know if this they did this intentional, but a lot, every single one that I picked up, the paint was kind of lighter in, air, in certain spots. So I tried to find one that it could be hidden. A lot of them had the paint color weird on the tops. So I kind of tried to find one that had it on the side, but I don't know if that's intentional that they did that or not, but I still think they are absolutely, they're beautiful. And they're not cheap either. These are a heavy weight glass, I guess. I'm not quite sure what they're made out of. They're, they're definitely not plastic. So I picked up one of each. And I also in that same shelf, I finally found the pine cones or the acorns, I'm sorry. So I picked up one of each of those as well. I look at the size of those. You know, they're an awesome size. They're a very, very similar size to the pine cones. Does this have the same? Yes, you can see it on here. The paint on these are also kind of lighter in spots. So maybe that is intentional on their part, but I just think they are so pretty. And I only saw these in silver and gold, so I'm assuming that that's all they have, but I think they are beautiful. So I picked up one of each. I have no idea. I thought about getting a basket and spray painting them and just putting them, them in a basket all together. I don't know what I'm doing with those yet. These, ay ay ay, are these good. If you see these, I'm having trouble. This is the last pack of them. I had bought a pack when the grand ladies were here. This, and they absolutely love them. This pack I just found, only one. So I'm on the lookout for these again in these particular flavors. This is the grape and strawberry flavor. They're called High Chews. And that is the company name up there. I'm not even going to attempt it. 
here's a picture of them on the back, if you can see that. They kind of have an, a white outer and then the, the kind of hard, it's almost like taffy, I would say, I would call it. These are good. Y'all know that I love anything citrus, mostly lemon. But my next favorite is probably grape. I love grape. I love strawberry too, but I love grape. These grape ones, if you guys have ever tasted Concord grapes, homegrown Concord grapes off of a vine, that is what these grape ones taste like to me. Concord grapes are my favorite. We used to have a grape arbor and we actually last, last fall, we took it down and we gave the actual grape vines to my oldest daughter and they were, they were Concord grapes. They are so amazing. I would make grape jelly out of them, just eat them right off the vine. Concord grapes are amazing. I've never tasted a candy that tastes like Concord grape until now. They're not exact Concord grape, but they are close. They are so, so good. The girls love them. I love them. So I'm on the lookout for these again. They're delicious. If you see them, pick them up. They're so good. So anyway, guys, I'm sorry if that was loud. I'm done with this haul, I think. I don't see anything else here on my table. I need to go and put all this stuff away. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. You know that I tell you every video and I'll tell you every video. You're amazing. You are so kind and I appreciate it so much. If you guys like this type of thing, Dollar Tree hauls, a Shein haul every once in a while, and I promise I have one coming up for you sometime really soon. If you like Dollar Tree product reviews where I have tried the food, mostly food and other things too, like laundry detergents and softener sheets and those type of things. I review them, I let you know what I think about the product and it's just my opinion. But if you guys like that type of thing, now my Friday favorites series that I'm doing, I still have a few more videos coming out for you guys on that and some more ideas in my brain. But if you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family, getting closer to that 2000 subscriber mark. And I am so, so grateful. So anyway, guys, have a great rest of your day. I'm going to talk to you again here really soon. Peace.